Come, my people, enter into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself, as it were, for a little moment until the indignation be overpassed. You know, there's so many preachers teaching that you're going to be whisked away. You know, that you don't have to go through the time of trouble. There shouldn't be any preparation. Don't worry about it. Jesus gave it all at the cross. You can continue to keep out of sin. You'll be there, brothers and sisters. That's what they teach. And nobody's ready. Nobody's prepared. Nobody's falling in love with their Savior and, and having Him take this wickedness of my heart from me and to give me a new heart of flesh which I can have victory in because my will is not my own anymore but it's given to my Master. Isaiah 27 and verse 5. I'll be the same to you. <laughs> or let him take hold of my strength that he may make peace with me. And he shall make peace with me. Brothers and sisters, I want to ask you, as you're turning to Matthew chapter 10, how real is God to you? How real is God to you? Matthew chapter 10 and verse 16. This is where I'm closing. Matthew 10 and 16. Okay. You're all there saying amen. amen. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils, and they will scourge you in their synagogues. And ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and, gen and the Gentiles. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall. Pardon me? Did you? We're 10. We're at chapter 10. Chapter 10, chapter 10 of Matthew. And we're in 19. Verse 19. Okay? But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak, for it shall be given you in the same hour what ye shall speak. For it is not ye that speak, but the Spirit of your Father which speaketh in you. And the brother, sh and the brother shall deliver up the brother to death, and the father the child. And the children shall rise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. And ye shall be hated of all men. For my name's sake, but he that endureth to the end shall be saved. Brothers and sisters, I don't want to water that down in any way. The Bible says what the Bible says. And all these words that I've written, that I've read to you today, have been God's words, not mine. Our closing song will be in verse of the chapter. Oh, I don't know. 289 in your hymnal. Hey, Ray, would you put the mic back in for song later? Oh, certainly.
Jesus. If you have been listening to the world and going another way, there's so many things out there that's pulling us in every direction but towards home. And our own hearts even deceive us. Brothers and sisters, we need to lay it all at the altar. We need to give it all to Jesus. Because you, the Bible teaches, are not your own. You have a master. And if you think that you're not choosing, you've made a choice. Brothers and sisters, we have victory upon victory in Jesus. And he wants to give it to you. All you have to do is say thank you. Say thank you. If you feel as I do, I just ask you to raise your hand as we pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we want to thank you so much that you are the victor that has walked before us. Not only have you paved the way, you came back and you, you carry us every step of the way. Lord, we want to thank you so much that we serve a God that is so humble and so great and so just mind-blowing that we sometimes take you for granted and we get lost in thinking of ourselves and we get our mind focused on what's going on in this world and we forget the fact that you are truly in charge and nothing has ever caught you off guard. We're thankful that you love us. We're thankful to be here today and we just want to say thank you. Thank you and we love you. In Jesus' name.